So you, you touched on, on technology, so and Bitcoin and whatnot. So I, I, let's talk about the hype cycle, right? We can go back, it was cloud um, a couple of years ago. Now that those barriers seem to have finally come down. Uh, last year, everything was Bitcoin. This year, everything is AI and machine learning. Um, you know, where are we in, in, in the hype cycle around some of these technologies? And, and from your, your perspective, you know, how do, what's that onboarding process kind of look like? Because the FinTech can be more nimble. You know, I think we right. all kind of sit here and say, well, if I was going to build this company today, this is how I would do it. I throw, you know, I take that 20 years experience, but I do it this way today. So where are some of these, these technologies in the thinking of not just the FinTech, but also the traditional institution? There are three key themes to, to, to think about here. Uh, the first theme is that there are a lot of different technologies out there right now. Uh, Bitcoin and blockchain uh, is a very interesting technology. I've been doing a lot of work in that area. I find it really cool and exciting and, and fun. Uh, artificial intelligence slash machine learning, I know there's a debate about whether or not uh, artificial intelligence will one day you know, machines will take over everything through artificial intelligence. I've seen Terminator 1, 2, and 3, so <laughs> yeah. it we'll, will happen. We'll, we'll leave that debate to, to other people, or, or maybe we'll have that debate <laughs> another time. But look, there are certainly applications of machine learning that people are using right now and, or that people are experimenting with right now. Uh, cloud is another good technology. Uh, look, there's all kinds of, of interesting technologies out there. Personally, I think, so, so my first theme personally is that a lot of these technologies are sort of competing with each other in some ways or operating in parallel with each other or helping each other. So it's going to be a process of sorting out how those technologies will all fit together at the end of the day. I do think that with the breadth and scale of some of these technologies, you may see uh, companies that... Uh, sort of have a technology that's based on blockchain but also incorporates elements of machine learning and AI in it, uh, in, in addition to sort of what they're already doing. So I think there's a lot of complementary, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a ability for a lot of these things to be complementary as well. That would be my first theme. Mm -hmm. my, my second theme would be uh, there you can experience a huge amount of technology overload if you try to figure out the silver bullet of what's going to be best for your company right now. And so in some instances, it may be a good idea to watch developments of these technologies for a little while before you jump on board with them and say, oh, we're moving to blockchain right now. Oh, we're moving to machine learning right now. Oh, we're moving to X or Y or Z. So that's the second theme that I, I would say. And the third theme I would say is we also need to hear a little bit from the regulators about what they're thinking here. Uh, in my blockchain practice, I try to have conversations with folks at the SEC that I know are focused on these issues so that I can at least give them information about what's happening in the industry and try to get some feedback from them as to what their thinking is. Uh, I, I, we do that with regard to many other regulators that, that we deal with. I do think it's really important for the regulators to engage in outreach to the industry, to be open to hearing what's going on, and to listen so that they can formulate good, intelligent regulatory policy.